everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander. I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. And thank you so much for watching my YouTube Rockman videos. If you appreciate my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via mobile phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's Rockman video, I have this spectacular new 2024 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring. As you guys know, in many of my videos, it's hard to get me speechless, but in this case, this specific Porsche might just do it. This is one of the most spectacular Porsches that I ever got to deliver to a client. Thank you so much, of course, to the client for your loyalty, for building this spectacular 911 GT3 Touring with me. And also thank you so much for allowing me to share this specific vehicle on my YouTube channel. So in today's walk around video, we're gonna highlight the build specifications on this specific car, talk about the details on the outside and the inside. Also talk about the details of why we chose certain uh, design features in both color and specifications. And what a video this is going to be on this one of one almost Porsche 911 GT3 Touring in paint to sample dark olive. Now in German, the name is Dunkel Olive. But for the US market, of course, translated to English, dark olive. And the video, this vehicle might almost look like black, but later on we'll get closer. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of sun out there here in South Florida today, but you'll see the green tone coming through the black color as we get closer. What an incredible paint to sample color to do on the 911 GT3 Touring. This is of course a 2024, so the latest model year of the 911 GT3 Touring, introduced for the US market as a model year 2022. Again, this one is a brand new 2024, paint to sample. Let's start a look here at the front. Being a GT3 Touring, the inner section of the intake system is painted in exterior color for the GT3 wing cars. That is not the case, unless you go through the Sonderwunds department. But you can see here the intake painted in dark olive metallic. What a spectacular color again. I can't get enough of this vehicle. You might already see the first green tones here uh, coming through the black. And of course, as the sun shines on it, you'll see the green even more. But in this case, unfortunately, the South Florida weather is not working with me. The next one is going to be the headlights. These are the LED matrix design headlights, which we chose specifically on this build. Very modern technology on the inside. Look at the beautiful daytime running lights. The lower section of the lens with these beautiful lines, creating a beautiful contrast against the rest of the shape of the vehicle. Of course, also the nostril system coming out of the carbon fiber front hood as standard for the GT3, very different to the 991 generation. 991 generation, of course, Touring was produced for 2018 and 2019. Then the 992 introduced, as I said, for 2022. Getting here to the side of the vehicle, we did decide for the dark olive metallic to go more aggressive on the outside design. That's why we chose the satin black center locking wheels. Now, Porsche doesn't offer any wheel uh, changes in terms of design, but of course the color can be changed. In this case, again, we chose the satin black. And uh, normally the carbon ceramic uh, brakes as a factory option would have yellow calipers. In this case, we do not want to choose the yellow based on the color combination that we were looking for. So we chose to do the high gloss black calipers from Porsche Exclusive Manufacture. And here to the side, we wanted to add more sportiness. So in this case, we chose to do the carbon fiber mirror design. You can see the beautiful carbon weave. That also paints the lower section of the mirror design in exterior color for this beautiful flow monotone color from the carbon into the door in dark olive and to complement the carbon on the mirrors we also decided to do it on the roof so also the carbon fiber optional roof on this specific vehicle and also again the combination of dark olive with carbon looking spectacular on this vehicle i've been uh, looking at it now for a couple of hours and really again if there's one porsche that's going to make me speechless it is going to be this one Let's continue to the rear, 21 inches on the back, 20 inches on the front, running a 315 rear section tire. Rear axle steering system, of course, standard for the Touring. Again, the carbon ceramic rotors, of course, also on the back. Now, this is the GT3 Touring package in black. So you see the window trim on the outside finished in black, and you'll see the rest of the dark tones also here on the back as the Porsche letters are finished in satin black, and the exhaust tips are finished also in black. And we also chose to do the exclusive design tail lights. So going all across is this clear lens, creating this beautiful monotone effect against the dark olive. Again, it will look almost like black on the camera, but it has this beautiful green tone coming through it. Let me get a little bit closer from different angles. As you can see the green coming through, it's just incredible. Of course, GT3 Touring specific engine deck versus the wing car. Powered by a four liter naturally aspirated flat six, producing just over 500 horsepower, available with a 
seven speed PDK or six speed short shifter manual. And of course, as most touring owners chose, this one has the six speed short shifter manual. Continue here to the back, also the diffuser. Incredible how big the diffuser nowadays is, is on the 992 versus the 991. On the 991, we were running a much smaller diffuser, although it did have the uh, underbody aerodynamics similar to the 911R, but for the 992, you can see how big that diffuser is. Love these little winglets also on the side. Incredible design. Still, of course, retaining its active rear spoiler, currently in the down position, creating this very sleek, beautiful profile. Look at this design. The fenders, the width of the fenders, the 21 inches on the back against the carbon roof. The white side skirts also significantly wider than the Carrera models for the 911, specific to the GT3, also used on the RS models. Wow, what a car. Again, let's get an angle here from the fender, hoping to see that green tone coming through the black. Just incredible. Again, dark olive metallic, dunkel olive in German. And let me show you guys another very cool detail that we did through Porsche Exclusive Manufacture. Let me get here to the table where you can see there is the key of the vehicle. And there you can see the actual name of the paint to sample color, Danko Olaf, on the Cohiba Brown wrapped leather key. It also comes with the leather key pouch. But just these small details can just make such a difference designing one of these incredible machines. And all the details, of course, add up generally to a vehicle that will likely be a one of one. The fact that it's Donko Olaf Metallic, the Cohiba exclusive manufacturer interior, the specific wheels and all the other options together with the key is very unlikely that there's the exactly same specification somewhere else in the world. Okay, so we talked about most of the details on the outside. Let's have a look on the inside where the Porsche exclusive manufacturer options just continue to a tremendous amount of detail. Let's start with the first very cool option that we did. Continuing the carbon fiber is here six, 60 years, 911, 60 years, 911 in German. And of course, why? Because in 2023 calendar year, the Porsche 911 existed for 60 years, being introduced in 1963 in calendar year. And of course, therefore celebrating its 60 year anniversary in calendar year 2023. Of course, the Porsche 911 ST also has an association to the 60 years Porsche 911. But with this vehicle being delivered in calendar year 2023, just like the 1963 introduction of the 911, we really wanted to tie that special one of a lifetime, uh, you know, celebrations into this specific vehicle. So the combination of the key with the color and paint to sample Donko Olaf, Donko Olaf, and then the 60 years 911, the carbon illuminated side still just spectacular the details. This is the exclusive manufacture leather interior. So one of the most highly optioned interior things you can do on the GT3 Touring. Look at all the beautiful black leather applied. When you do the exclusive manufacture interior, you get this beautiful pattern that Porsche applies in the upper section of the uh, door panel. Continue here with Cohiba Brown to the middle section. Even the lower section you can see around the door pocket there, finished in the Cohiba Brown. And there on the floor, we see the optional under the under door pot of light projectors. The leather continues here over the side sill. You might have already spotted it next to the also covered in beautiful black leather with the Cohiba stitching. Also here around the middle section between the door panel and the dashboard covered in leather. The floor mats with the leather edging, stitching, also the Porsche leathers there surrounded by Cohiba brown leather. The steering column casing in leather with the deviated stitch in Cohiba brown. Continuing here to the center armrest where we have the specific Porsche exclusive manufacture embossing in the, uh, in the armrest specific to this interior. And then the beautiful Porsche crest also once again embossed in the seats. Let's look at the backside also of the seats, where we continue with beautiful details. We can see even the Cohiba Brown has been integrated here on the back of the seat. And then we also decided to add more carbon fiber there. So side sill and also the back shells here with the middle section once again in carbon. Of course, we have that sticker, which of course for legal purposes has to be there. But wow, what a beautiful combination. Look at the whole seat, the stitching on the back. A true piece of art by Porsche and by Porsche Exclusive Manufacture. More details on the inside is also carbon fiber integrated on the steering wheel. We can see there on the three spoke steering wheel, Cohiba Brown stitching also there integrated within the steering wheel. The knee pads around the center console, once again, black leather with Cohiba stitching. The air vents in the middle surrounded by Cohiba Brown leather. And then we chose to do the sport chrono clock on top of the dashboard in white. 
And then also the instrument dial in front of the driver in white to give a little bit more color on the inside. A little bit more brightness and details. But what a spectacular combination of materials, carbon, the Cohiba, the stitching, the specific pattern that Porsche uses on both the door panel as the upper section edge here of the dashboard. Incredible, incredible car. Of course, all the nice options like front axle lift system also equipped. The seats, by the way, also heated. The seats themselves, by the way, the 18-way sport seats plus, so no carbon fiber bucket seats. As for long distance driving or um, longer term driving inside of the vehicle, you'll see a lot of the tourings being optioned with the 18-way sport seats plus. Incredible side performance adjustability and holds you in place very nice in a very comfortable way. Wow, guys, this, uh, this car really makes me speechless. This is one of the longest YouTube walk-around videos I've ever done. Once again, congratulations to the owner, a true gentleman. Thank you so much for trusting me and designing this spectacular Porsche 911 with you. A final walk-around on this brand new 2024 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring. I want to iterate this car is not for sale. But please contact me directly via email or cell phone with any additional questions. Thank you so much for sharing this Porsche passion with me. I will see you guys in the next walk around video. And yes, this one truly makes me speechless. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much.